Incompetence really stands out when you're next to me. <laughs> I think it's about time for you to quit. <laughs> Hello? Kocho? I need your help. I wonder what's going on. Kohei, I need you to leave this office. What? what My name is Kohei Yamagiwa, 32 years old. Since high school, I've been an idol otaku. At the age of 25, I quit the real estate company I was working for. And together with this blonde guy, Sugiyama, we established an idol agency called Scatto Star, also known as Estar. Seven years of hard work, just when our idols finally started appearing on local radio and such. I can't quit at a time like this. That's precisely why. Things get complicated with coach on around. This girl is my girlfriend, Ama Ozuka. We've been dating for a year. You only complain about our plans, you know, and you're scared of trying new things. That's because you guys plan projects disregarding the budget and tries to take on jobs that can't protect the idols. Then what are you doing for the agency? I handle things like trainings and financial management. The basic stuff that you guys don't want to do! To be honest, isn't that a job that anyone can do? i felt connections with the media and agencies. The big projects are handled by me. You just stir up troubles. Incompetence really stands out when you're next to me. <laughs> I think it's about time for you to quit. <laughs> Wait, this company was practically founded by my savings, right? Oh yeah, that's right. That really helped out. To prevent wasting the investment. You've got some nerve. Oh, and one more thing. Ama became my girl, so... Huh? She originally started as an underground idol in her teens. She became distant since joining Asdar through my introduction. So, that's what it was. I had fun with Kochan, but it felt like something was missing. She's saying being with you was boring. You guys, I've had it with this. I'm out of here. Fuming, I stormed out of the meeting room. These past seven years have been tough, but I've never been as angry as I am today. My mind was a mess, and before I knew it, I found myself on the rooftop of the office. As I smoke, I was thinking, I can't just leave without properly handing things over. What will happen to the idols I've been taking care of? and the payments to the staff and related companies. Kohei-san, are you okay? Oh, Yume-chan. She's Nikaido Yume, one of the first members of SDAR. I taught her what it means to be an idol. I heard you argue in the meeting room. I'm leaving this place. What? They say they don't need me because anyone can do my job. Sorry for making you worry. I'll make sure to hand things over to ensure you and others are taken care of. Actually, they're also cutting their contract with us. Huh? We received a sudden notice yesterday. The kids from the first generation to the third generation have all had their contract terminated. What? I didn't hear about that. I've been with the agency for six years and I'm 24 now. As an idol, I understand that I'm getting too old for this. That's not true. You've worked hard all this time. You've grown so much. You're the only one who says that, Kohei-san. To be honest, I'm scared of Sugiyama-san. He sees us as nothing but tools. So even if we weren't kicked out this time, I think I would have graduated from Idol if you had left. And that's not just me. I'm sure everyone would have felt the same. These past six years, it was really grateful having you by my side, watching over me. I'm sorry. Really, I'm so sorry. A month later, I was at my university alumni reunion. Are you Kohei-kun? Um... I'm Yui, Yui Ayase. Ah, Yui, you're really... She was already beautiful, but she has become even more stunning as an adult. Really, what? It's rude to hesitate like that. Oh, sorry, I mean, you've already become beautiful. Well, not that you weren't beautiful before. It sounds kind of suspicious. Really, I'm not lying. Well, you seem... different somehow, too. What, what do you mean? Well, 
Yeah. Is this payback? Yeah, it was rude of me to hesitate like that. My bad. As long as you understand, you becomes cute too. Sounds a bit insincere. So, what are you doing now? I'm a producer at a video production company. I work on making music videos for Idol and such. Really? That's amazing. Did you once say you wanted to work in the Idol industry someday? We were both Idol fans, and I always thought we'd meet at an event someday. We were a big fan of the same Idol group when we were students. While there were other Idol fans, our passion connected us quickly. As friends, we passionately discussed our ideal Idol image and future dreams. Just the other day. I was kicked out of the idol agency I had just started. Huh? What's that about? I need to hear more. That was tough. Yeah, I'm so frustrated. So, are you giving up? Huh? You're feeling pathetic and frustrated. Are you just going to live with regrets? W- well. Are you going to leave those girls behind? Well, even though it's frustrating. Sugiyama was good at making connections in the industry. I was bad at it, not as good as him. Still, you gave those girls a moment to dream, and they spent precious years of their lives believing you. Then you have to find a way for those girls to shine until the end. I'm speechless. I'm sorry for speaking out of turn as an amateur. It's okay. Thanks for snapping me out of it. This isn't time for me to mope around. That's it. That's the Koheku I know. From what I've heard, you're good at idol development or dealing with staff. Oh yeah, I'd say so. But you're not so good at interacting with people in the industry. Then let me help you. What? Forgot my profession? I'm a producer. I have connection in the industry, and believe it or not, I'm good at sales. R- really? But my current job? Yeah. My current job involves mainly producing music videos for already established idols and artists. I really enjoy it, but somewhere deep down, the dream of starting a talent agency from scratch was still smoldering. But today, meeting here again here felt like destiny. Huh? Let's make an agency and won't lose to anyone. Just the two of us, Koheku. Yeah, I think we can do it with you, Yui. All right then. With negotiation settled, let's move forward together. All right. It's been a year and a half since the reunion. We rented a small mixed-use office in downtown Tokyo and launched this agency. It's a VTuber agency with the concept of idols. Our agency starts today. Finally, huh? We have to work even harder from now on. Kohei-san, Yui-san, Yumi-chan, good morning. You're here early. I couldn't wait. It's our first day. Yeah, looking forward to working together from now on, Yumi-chan. I'll do my best. On the night we made a promise with Yui, we immediately held a strategy meeting. Originally, we both love idols, and what caught our attention was the VTuber business. Yui also gave me the idea of starting an idol agency. However, in my heart, the words of Yume, the first generation S star member. Lingered. I turned twenty-four. I know it's getting tough age-wise. I just really want to get these girls on the big stage, but idols and VTubers are different in nature, and opinions on this vary among people. That was the point that troubled me. I wondered if the girls who aim to be idols would accept becoming VTubers. Yui was the one who pushed me forward. Just worrying alone won't get you any answer. Anyway, let's hear their opinions and think about it. So I interviewed each of the ousted idols from S Star. Yes, please let me try once more. And most of the others readily accepted my proposal, but some of them declined, saying they had enough fun. We have to work hard for those girls. That's right. This time we won't lose. We'll make it the world's best agency. You guys are chatting so happily again. Kohei-kun seems to have a special affection for Yumi-chan. Does he like her? Yui-san. Huh? Yumi-chan. Shall we take a break at the rest area, Yui-san?、Uh, sure. Okay. Yui-san, 
You like Kohei-san, right? What? Well, um... You like him, don't you? Uh... E yes, I do. I also like Kohei-san, too. You do? But I don't mean I want to take him or anything. Huh? I've always dreamed of becoming an idol. When I first joined Ed Star, I was kind of aiming to become an idol. Kohei-san was the one who scolded me for that. He really questioned whether I truly wanted to be an idol. The dream of becoming an idol has always been ridiculed. So, I was always putting up barriers, thinking I couldn't become a real idol. But, Kohei-san took me seriously and showed me what really is a dream. I see. So, please don't worry. I won't try to steal Kohei-san from you. R really I will become a real idol this time. I promise to take Kohei-san and Yui-san to a big stage. So, please watch me until I succeed. Yeah, I'm looking forward to working with you too. Huh? What's up with you two? It's rare to find you on the rooftop. Oh, it's nothing. Right, Yumi-chan? Yes, it's our little secret. When did you two become so close? That's also a secret. Yep, it's a secret. Oh well. After Yume and the other debuted as VTubers, we became incredibly busy. Thanks to Yui's skills, we were able to collaborate with famous streamers, gaining significant attention right after our debut for about a year. We spent dizzying days filled with both joy and exhaustion. Then one day, I received a message from Yui. Sorry, I'm not feeling well. Are you okay? It was the first time in years that Yui had fallen ill, and I was worried. I wondered how serious her condition is. Should I go check her at home? No, someone might already be taking care of her. Her boyfriend, perhaps. Does she even have a boyfriend? I hadn't had time to think about it before. She's always been by my side. Kohei-san, please reschedule all the work for later today. I'll take care of what I can. Huh? What's going on all of a sudden? Yui-san is not feeling well, right? I told Yui-san that Kohei-san will go visit. What? So, hurry up and go. Y yes Make sure to bring some jelly or drinks for her. Oh, okay. Kohei-kun? Sorry for showing up out of the blue when you're sick. Are you okay? Yeah, just a cold. I see. Here, if you need something to eat. Thanks. Well then, see you later. Make sure to keep warm and get some rest. Oh no, are you okay? Oh, sorry, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Sorry, but let me go inside. It feels nice and cool. Still have a high fever. Sorry for bothering you when you're busy. It's okay. If your fever doesn't go down by morning, let's go to the hospital. You'll stay until morning? If you want me to, I will. I want you to stay. You're unusually obedient. Alright, I will. I was hoping Koheko would come by. I see. I'm really glad that you came. We've always been together. If Kohei-kun isn't by my side, I don't know what to do. What do you mean? Did she fall asleep? I hope she doesn't have a boyfriend. That day, I fell asleep, holding Yui's hand. Huh? Oh, Yui, how are you feeling? Wh why is Kohei-kun here? Looks like you're fine. It wasn't a dream. Check your temperature. Are you hungry? Um... Kohei-kun? Yeah? I'm not seeing anyone. You... You heard that? I don't have a boyfriend. Uh... So should I say it? Should I say it? No, I'll say it. I want to go out with you. Hmm... Let's see. What? Come on! That was a perfect setup. I didn't say I wanted to date you. What? That's so unfair. Whoa! Sorry, I got embarrassed. I like you too. Y yeah, me too. After that, we started supporting each other both professionally and personally. Sorry, I got a call. Can I take it? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Kuchan? 
Emma? I have nothing to say to you. I'm hanging up. W wait! I need your help. I wonder what's going on. Emma, who called me, was waiting in front of the office with an appointment. Since it would be troublesome to make a scene, I led her into the conference room for now. So, what's this all about? I need your help. I'm really sorry for kicking you out like that. I never thought I'd see you apologizing like this. I did something unforgivable, and I can't regain that trust. I never intended to show my face in front of you again. So why are you here now? Did you come to take over this agency? No! No, it's not like that. I want you to help the girls in my agency. What do you mean? Since you left, S-Star has been falling apart. The rumors of our terrible betrayal spread faster than I expected. And fewer and fewer people were willing to help me. I really underestimated the importance of connections. Isn't that too late to realize it? I now realize the importance of what you were doing. But the reason I came here is... When things started going south, Sukiyama started a new business without telling me. He put our idols in massive debts and made it impossible for them to quit easily. Debt? Yes. Charging for lessons, idol trading courses... Even if they want to quit, they're forced to pay a penalty if they haven't reached the contract term. Most of the girls don't notice it when it's time for renewal. It looks like they're trapped in these contracts. What the heck? What's worse is that the penalty fee is not something easily affordable. Mostly ranging from 1 to 2 million. That's outrageous. It's gotta be illegal. I thought so too and tried to seek advice from others around me. But as long as there is a contract, it seems difficult to challenge. Isn't there anything that can be done? But that's not all Sugiyama is planning. He's also preparing to start an illegal live streaming business using those girls. That's... unforgivable. I didn't know who else to ask for help. I know I'm not in a position to make a request to you, but you're the only one I can rely on. Please, save those girls, I beg you. Koheiko? I need some time to think about it. If Emma's story was all a lie, it's easy to imagine being betrayed easily. But if it were true... But is it me to extend a helping hand? <sighs> Are you worried? Yeah, that's right. What do you think? Last time I talked with Yumi-chan? About you, Kohei-kun. Huh? And I thought you were too kind and sinful. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm talking about when Yumi-chan was deciding whether she should become an idol. Ah, oh, yeah. There was a time like that. Kohei-kun was the one who made Yumi-chan into an idol. Is that so? Well, yeah. Yeah, you did. Back when I was student, I talked to Kohei-kun and... Looking back, that was the time when I dreamed in my life. Really? You have the power to inspire dreams in others. And you always have a mysterious ability to guide those who dreams earnestly in the right direction. And I like that what you do. If it's the Kohei-kun that I like, then I think he would extend a helping hand to those girls. You have the power to match that. Well, I think it's necessary to investigate though. Yeah, alright. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Okay. So, I'll start investigating S-Star and Sugiyama. I stood at the entrance of S-Star for the first time in years. Okay. Well, well. Who came to visit? I came here to talk to you. What now? You want your money and girls back? I heard everything from Emma. A plan to burden the girls with debt and force them into secret streaming. It's none of your business. I've investigated everything. Besides, all the girls under S-Stars are minors. Therefore, secret streaming is illegal. You've made the girls sign penalty contracts to prevent them from escaping, right? In the past, there have been cases where penalty contracts by talent agencies were deemed invalid due to violations of labor standards. So what? Sugiyama, you're done. Your plan has long been rumored within the industry. No matter what you do, no one will work with you anymore. 
and the underworld you're trying to move into. Once you step into it, there's no turning back. And you already know that, right? I know, but this is the only way now. If you promise to leave, I'll buy out that star. What? So leave this industry before you commit your irreparable act. Leave. I betrayed you. You're so foolish. Certainly, I've been treated horribly. Well, that was a lesson I learned. As a result, things turned out positive, and it was you, was who brought me into this industry, and for that I'm grateful. No matter what, I lose. Well, if the acquisition is settled, then goodbye, Sugiyama. Oh, by the way, your employees are apparently quitting and coming to work for me, so take care of that. Employees? But there's only Emma. Yeah, I'll take Emma too. Damn! She's getting back at me. Afterward, I had a little bit of revenge against Sugiyama, so I hired Emma as a staff member in my company. Now she's working hard under Yui's guidance. As for Yume, she showed up astonishing growth as a VTuber, and now boasting over a million subscribers, she became a big-time streamer. And as promised, she led both me and my wife Yui to a big stage. No one wants to associate with people who disregard in connection with others. If you act sincerely, the people you can trust will naturally gather around you. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks.